Welcome back. This video is about angles of elevation and depression. Not like sad depression, not that kind of depression, like going down depression. Um, this is one of the many, 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 many applications of trigonometry. So join me and we'll figure out what this airplane and this dog have to do with trigonometry. So here's a guy. And if he's looking straight ahead, this is what we call his line of sight. If he looks up at the airplane, it creates an angle. And this angle we call the angle of elevation. If he looks down, he creates a different angle. And this angle we call the angle of depression. So let's see how this works. Let's say you climb a cliff, be careful. The angle of elevation from your starting point S to the top of the hill is 47 degrees. If point S is 525 feet from the base of the cliff, how high is the cliff? Yikes. Anytime you get nervous in math, you start drawing a picture. So we have our starting point S and we have you at the top of the hill. We know that S is 525 feet from the base of the cliff and we want to know how high the cliff is. Well, let's make this into a triangle. It says that the angle of elevation from your starting point S to the top of the hill is 47 degrees. This is where the trigonometry comes in. Remember Sokotoa? Okay, so we're looking for the height of the cliff, which is opposite the starting point. We know the adjacent side, which is 525 feet. So opposite and adjacent, that's the tangent relationship. So we know the tangent of 47 equals x divided by 525. We'll multiply both sides by 525 and we get x equals 562.99 feet. That's pretty high. A hungry pterodactyl flies by and sees you as his dinner. Bummer for you. He is 600 feet from the cliff and 100 feet above you. At what angle of depression does the pterodactyl see you? Yikes. Okay, well, we always go from line of sight and we're looking for that angle of depression. Well, we know that he's 600 feet from the cliff and 150 feet above you. So again, we're gonna use tangent. Tangent of 150 divided by 600 equals x. So x equals the tangent inverse of 150 divided by 600. Remember the tangent inverse is the button above the tangent button on your calculator. So we know that x is 14.03 degrees. Here's another application. Pine Creek High School limits the height of flagpoles to 25 feet. Mrs. Back, the principal, wants to determine whether the flagpole out front is in compliance with the regulation. All right, so we have a flagpole and here's Mrs. Back. Okay, so what do we know? We know her eye level is 5.5 feet from the ground and she stands 36 feet from the flagpole. Okay, if the elevation is about 25 degrees, what's the height of the flagpole to the nearest 10th? Remember, we go from line of sight and the angle of elevation from line of sight is 25 degrees. Now we're looking for the height of the flagpole, which is not part of our triangle. And trigonometry is only gonna tell us this part of our triangle. We know that this part of the triangle is x minus 5.5. Now we can pull in our trigonometry. So the tangent of 25 equals opposite x minus 5.5 divided by adjacent 36. We'll multiply both sides by 36. So we get 36 times the tangent of 25 equals x minus 5.5. 36 times the tangent of 25 is 16.8. We'll add 5.5 to both sides and we see that x equals 22.3. That's the height of our flagpole. Now it needs to be less than 25 feet. Are we within regulation? Yes, we are. Okay, let's do one more. Here we have a lifeguard and he's watching for swimmers in trouble. His eye level is 14 feet from the ground. Okay, so he spots a swimmer 
at a 33 degree angle of depression. So remember, from line of sight, we're going down 33 degrees. That gives us our angle of depression. How far is the bottom of the lifeguard tower from the swimmer? So we can bring in our triangle and we're looking for the distance from the tower to the swimmer. All right, so here we have our angle of depression is 33 degrees. The problem is that angle is not inside of our triangle. So what do we do? Well, what we do have is two parallel lines cut by a transversal, and we've got two alternate interior angles, which we know are congruent. So we know that this angle is also 33 degrees. Now we can use our trigonometry. So tangent of 33 degrees equals 14 divided by x, multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by the tangent of 33. So in your calculator, you do 14 divided by the tangent of 33, and x equals 21.6 feet. So that's angles of elevation and depression. Now, always remember, you go from line of sight. Up is an angle of elevation, down is an angle of depression. Thanks for being here.